Deputy Prime Minister Yal Nakdoan has admitted that the government used undercover police teams to infiltrate groups of Gazi Park protesters in 2013 and has claimed that then Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan stayed up late and listened to these teams' reports for many nights during the protests, in an interview with Cuba Par from the Haber Turk Daily. What began as a peaceful demonstration against plans to uproot trees to build a shopping mall on the site of Gazi Park, a green space in central Stanbul's Taksim Square, spiraled into nationwide protests against Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan's government after a brutal police crackdown on peaceful protesters on May 31, 2013. Akdoğan discussed the current state of Turkish politics with the June 7 elections on the horizon, the pressure on media organizations and the uncertainty of the settlement process which was initiated in 2012 and consists of talks between Turkish intelligence and the imprisoned leader of the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, the policies of the Justice and Development Party, AK Party, and the Gazi Park protests. He explained that the settlement process is not on hold but has merely diminished in significance while the elections dominate the political agenda. Akdoğan was asked if President Erdoğan's declaration of opposition to the establishment of a committee to monitor the Kurdish settlement process had taken him by surprise and whether there had been a miscommunication between himself and Erdoğan. He said that Erdoğan always has the final say and that the president's words are binding. Erdoğan objected to the idea of a committee monitoring talks aimed at resolving Turkey's decades-old Kurdish issue on March 20 saying that only the country's intelligence agency and the government should be involved in the talks. Erdogan's remarks came days after Akdoğan had confirmed that a monitoring committee of five or six people would be established to observe the process. Akdoğan also answered questions about the nationwide Gazi Park protests and addressed concerns that Turkey is falling prey to an authoritarian regime. Akdoğan denied that anyone is under pressure from the government and added that accusations of the government becoming an authoritarian regime are merely the result of public perception being manipulated. Cuba PAR then asked the deputy prime minister why so many journalists are fired, if not due to pressure from the ruling party. Akdoğan claimed that the journalists were not fired but have voluntarily left to find other work. A report prepared by renowned journalist Yavuz Baydar in March said the number of journalists who have lost their jobs, were fired or forced to resign following 2013 Skazi Park protests had approached 1,000 by the end of November 2014.